Today, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade face moisturizer for dry skin. Now, the thing about dry skin is that it's not a dehydration situation. It's not that you're not drinking enough water. That's not it. In fact, the more water you drink, the drier your skin is going to be because you're going to dilute your electrolytes. Okay. So dehydration creates a lot of symptoms, but it's typically not dryness of the skin. Dry skin is low EFA. What does that mean? Essential fatty acids. Okay. And I'm talking about an unsaturated fat, not saturated fats, omega-3 fatty acids. Now, essential fatty acids are both omega-3 and omega-6. But the reason why I'm not going to talk about omega-6 is because chances are you already have too many omega-6 fats in their diet, corn oil, soy oil, canola, cottonseed oil. And we really are deficient in the omega-3 fatty acids. And so when you don't have enough of this, your skin gets really dry and flaky. There's actually three types of omega-3. You have EPA and DHA, but you also have a precursor, ALA, all right, that can turn into EPA and also DHA to a certain degree. And these Omega-3 fatty acids actually protect the skin against the sun's rays, like UV light. So they do a lot of things for your skin, not just keep your skin moist, but they can protect against UV radiation. Now, how do you get omega-3 fatty acids? Well, from sardines, cod liver, cod liver oil, fish oils like salmon, um, algae, things like that. But are you going to really rub sardine oil or cod liver oil on your face, right? probably not a good thing. Now you could rub algae on your face, but what I'm going to recommend in this video is using chia seed and seaweed. Okay. And so this is simply how you're going to make this uh, facial mask, which is then going to give you the result of more moisture in your face. Okay. So you'll combine six teaspoons of water in a little container and two teaspoons of chia seed ground down. We want to grind them up to release some of these oils. All right. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of seaweed. You can either get uh, seaweed as a powder, or you could take a seaweed tablet from a supplement and open up one of the capsules, or you can get some dry seaweed from a little sheet and crinkle it up and put it in a teaspoon and add that to it. And then we'll add one teaspoon of olive oil. Make sure it's extra virgin olive oil, the real good stuff. We're going to mix all this up. We're going to apply this to our face, okay? And then we're going to wait 15 minutes and then we'll wash it off. Now you're going to find that the omega-3 fatty acids in the chia seed as well as the seaweed directly goes in the skin. Anything that you put on your skin gets absorbed because all these chemical moisturizers that have petroleum products, alcohol, chemicals that they're putting on their hands or their face, it's going right in like a sponge. So you really got to be careful about what you put on your face. So it's very similar to foliar uh, spraying, like spraying uh, nutrients on plants. It goes right into the leaves, the same thing with our bodies. And you do want to start consuming omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, okay? And also isolate other reasons why your skin might be dry. It could be that you're a smoker or you're getting secondhand smoke or you drink too much alcohol, or consuming too much sugar, or you're going through too much stress, which can greatly affect your skin. And as a side note to that, you have all these friendly microbes on your skin that are supposed to be there. So if you're using certain types of cleansing creams or cleansing lotions to strip off things from your skin to clean it, you're also destroying the friendly microbes on your skin. And that can create dryness or irritation or redness. So stress can, can affect the microbes on your skin and not having enough microbiome or good bacteria in your gut for certain reasons. Let's say, for example, you took an antibiotic, that can also affect your skin from the inside out. So there's a lot of different reasons why you might have dry skin. It could be that you're on the typical American diet where you're consuming a lot of seed oils, corn oil, soy oil, canola, cottonseed oil, which are very high in omega-6 fatty acids that will literally create a deficiency of the omega-3 fatty acids. This is actually very common. Or it could be your soap is drying out your skin. There's a really interesting video that you should watch on soap. The tap water from your shower, okay? You're going to expose to fluoride and chlorine, which is very, very harsh 
on your skin, you should get a filter. And if you wear makeup or certain foundations and has petroleum in there or alcohol, that can create the drying out effect.